Hello and welcome to the product demonstration of IBM Finance System Monitor, FSM. My name is Roland Merck and I will show you how FSM helps ECM administrators to run their ECM platform more efficiently and more reliably. I'm going to present you FSM in a demo environment which consists of three systems. My first system is a Finite P8 system used in the custom service of an insurance company within my organization. The second is a loan origination system in the mortgage group, which is based on IBM Content Manager 8. And the third system, which is used in the central IT operations and the application management group, is the FSM management server itself, which is monitoring the P8 system and the CM8 system. In FSM, we have multiple ways how we can view our managed systems. Here we can see the so-called overview event console, which gives us a broad and a deep view on the systems that we are monitoring. So we can see the status, the aggregated status of each system which is monitored, represented by the boxes here. So they indicate the worst status of all parameters monitored on that particular system. And in the rows here, I see my managed systems and in the columns I have my multiple management areas. They give me an indication of what is going on in a specific area and on a specific component on this particular server. So here I can see at a glance the status of my multiple application components running on that particular server. If I prefer a more event-centric view, I can choose the event view console, which gives me a chronological view of my events. Of course, I can also filter them so that I see only events with a severity of warning or higher. So that allows me to see immediately what happens and I can directly dive into the monitoring details or event details if I want to get more detailed view on what is going on. If I'm monitoring a larger number of servers, the so-called host event console is the best way to watch the systems. Here I have the most aggregated level of event view. I can see all the systems represented by one box for each system. And as I said, the, the color and that symbol here indicate the worst status of all parameters monitored on that system. So I can see immediately the status of each system that I'm running. So if I have a lot of systems, I would see a lot of boxes. I can always see at a glance what is going on. Let's go back to the overview event console, which gives the best view. The management areas show me the status of this particular area of this particular component which is monitored on that system. So here on my final P8 system, for example, I have a capture application which is monitored. I have the, the database for the MKF databases, which is available or all three of them are available and they're not uh, running full. I can see the status of my index databases used by image manager and the P8 system running on that particular server. So for example, I can see the, ta the table spaces used in my DB2 database. None of them has reached a critical level. I can see the status of my end-to-end -end performance information. We will hear later about that. I can see network communication, if the system can be reached over the network. And of course, I have in this particular case, final P8 specific event information. So here, for example, we have an area which gives me information about the application engine and the WebC application server, and it's telling me that the memory used by the JVM by uh, Finet P8 is okay, and also the component manager status is okay, so the component manager is running properly. We have information from the Finet basis. I can see, for example, that all components related to the application engine, to the content engine, and the process engine are okay, they're running. My index database is available. My image services system is started. And I can also see the status of the processes that I want to monitor, whether they are listening or sleeping. I have detailed information about the content engine. For example, in this scenario, I'm monitoring the number of documents in the object store. I could also monitor the number of files in the file stores. And I'm also checking the performance of the object store. This monitor allows me to check how long it takes to complete a document search on my finite system, indicating whether there is a finite internal performance problem. We have information coming from the finite log files. Currently, there is no event. If we look into the last events, we can see that there are a lot of events. Here, for example, we have a 
log file entry with a tuple 213, 150, and 0. If I click on it, I can see that this is related to the process engine. We have monitors regarding the process engine itself. So here, for example, we are monitoring the record sizes of the cache, of the various caches that I have defined. We're checking if there are any log queue work objects or roster work objects in the queues that we are monitoring. So currently there are no locked work objects, neither in the inbox, nor delay, nor the tracker, or the conductor queue, for example. The same for roster work objects. We can monitor roster statistics, and we can also monitor the queue size. So this, for example, would help us to assess whether the queue has a problem. So if the size of the queue is growing, this is an indicator that the queue itself might be hanging. So even if the process of the queue is still running, the queue is no longer processing the items in it. So that means that the queue is hanging and is therefore no longer available to the end user, which is a critical problem, of course. We have information about PPMOI, utilization. We also have information from the system log, whether it's a Unix or a Linux syslog, AIX error log, or in this case, a Windows event log. And we can see here our critical alert coming from the CPU utilization monitor, with, which is checking the performance of that server. And it shows us, for example, that we have an average CPU utilization of 96% over the last 10 measurements, which indicates that there's a performance problem on that system that might also have a negative impact to the end user's performance in the line of business. Of course, we can also arrange those views, those areas, based on our own demands or requirements. So if I want to have a more aggregated view, I would have less areas with more monitors, with more detailed information inside the area. If I want to have a more granular view, which allows me to get a first at a glance view on more information, on more uh, details of the systems, I would choose to have more areas. It's up to you how you want to organize your monitoring of your systems. Let's have a look at the Content Manager 8 system, which is used in the loan origination in our mortgage bank. We also have a capture application which is monitored. We also have database information here for DB2, both for the library manager and the resource manager. We can also see that the status is okay. We have information regarding CM8 itself. So for example, here we are monitoring CM8 specific stuff like the net search extender disk space or errors the heartbeat and the services of the resource manager, the volume spaces, and the web status. These monitors do not only tell us if the various components are running properly, but also if their functional operation is working properly. So if the end user is really able to use that service, ECM. So there's a functional monitoring of the internal processing of the work items, of the documents, which is monitored as well which gives us a health status, an insight into what is going on into CM8, so that we can be proactive if, if the system starts to show an unusual behavior. We would be alerted very early and can take proper counteractions to make sure that the system is not going down. So here we can see the disk space of the NetSearch extender. We can see if there are any errors. We have a heartbeat monitoring of our resource managers. We check the services of the resource manager. So here we can see that the migrator is started, the replicator is started, and the purger is started. We check the volume space of the resource manager. And of course, the web status. So here we can see if the web pages are available and the snoop is running. In the bottom, we can see the default knowledge base entry, which gives us information about the error cause, what has happened, and the potential corrective action that might be taken to fix this problem. So this is provided by FSM for most of the monitor events and for more than 1,500 events from the log files. If we don't know how to handle the event, we are able to forward this event via email, so we can send it to a colleague, who then would be able to work on this uh, event, on this problem. Or if we found 
a new error cause and a new corrective action to fix such a problem, we can add a custom specific entry into the knowledge base associated with this monitor event. So the next time when this monitor runs and we go into the monitoring details, we will not only see the default knowledge base entry, but also our custom knowledge base entry that we added based on our real experience in running the system and based on the problems that we have experienced in the past. Of course, we also have a CMH specific log file management. Currently, we don't have events here. If we look into the past, we can see, for example, that we had one entry which shows us that the resource manager was not available. So here we can see the status of our various systems at a glance. We know immediately the status of all our managed system, whether it's a finite P8 system, an IBM Content Manager 8 system, or for example, another third party system like capture solutions, like input management servers, output management servers, or in this scenario here, our FSM server itself. Let's take a look into the knowledge base. FSM provides an out-of-the-box knowledge base for most of the monitor events and many, many log file events. We have seen that knowledge base entries have been provided within the monitor or log file event details in an alert in an event that has been sent to us in the event console. But of course, we can also search the knowledge base for specific entries. So for example, if we want to know what is available regarding queues, we can check what kind of knowledge base information is available regarding queues. And then we will get the various monitors that provide queue-specific monitoring, and we will see the error cause and corrective action information provided with that event. The same can be done for finite log files. So let's check for storage-related event entries in the finite logs. And we can see the error tuple, the message, and provided by FSM, again, the error cause and corrective action information related to finite P8 log file entries. The knowledge base can be extended customer specifically, so you can provide your own instructions how to handle event in your organization. For example, if they happen after hours, or if these are events related to other applications that you have added to the monitoring in FSM. So for example, if you added monitoring for a capture application, here we can see an example for custom knowledge base entry. So in this case, it would tell us that the document capture application is not working. And because the responsibility is in a different administrator group, I would need to call the extension 4400 to alert them that the capture application is down and they need to fix it. Same can be done for other types of events. Um, you can also provide HTML code. So here, for example, we have an event regarding the WebC application server, and this includes a direct link to the IBM Information Center, which helps us to better assess what's going on in the WebC application server, providing us information about administration and monitoring of WebSphere. Actually, the IBM Information Center is a very helpful resource. So you can create your own customer-specific knowledge base, including information about organization-specific instructions, but also related to custom-built applications or other third-party applications that you have included in the monitoring of FSM, which go beyond the core ECM components in the final P8 or in the IBM Content Manager world. With that, I want to complete the product demonstration of IBM Final System Monitor. We have seen how FSM helps ECM administrators to run their platform efficiently and reliably. We have seen in event scenarios, both in the final P8 system and on the IBM Content Manager 8 system, how FSM helps us to detect problems, to detect upcoming issues, how it helps us to give detailed information about what happened, about the error cause and corrective action that needs to be taken to fix the problem. We have seen the knowledge base that provides error cause and corrective action information for many, many events which can also be extended by yourself, so you can create your own specific instructions how to handle events in your specific environment. Thanks for your time, and have a great day.